the indulgence of the speaker. Thank you. Um, I thank you, Honorable Speaker, for the indulgence. I rise to raise this general statement on deployment of 1,000 Kenya police officers to the Republic of Haiti. Honorable Speaker, pursuant to Standing Order 43-1, I wish to make a general statement regarding the planned deployment of 1,000 police officers to the Republic of Haiti. As a House, we appreciate that as part of fulfillment of international obligations to the international cause, Kenya, as a member of the community of nations, is obliged to take certain measures, including security interventions abroad. It is on this backdrop that the Kenya government is believed to have committed to deploy a thousand police officers to the Republic of Haiti to assist in restoring law and order. Kenya's police mission to the Republic of Haiti has since been ratified by the United Nations Security Council. Honorable Speaker, service of Kenya police officers outside Kenya on a reciprocal arrangement with reciprocating countries is guided by Part 15 of the National Police Service Act 2011. Of note, Section 107 and 108 of the Act presupposes three conditions that must prevail before the President orders any such number of police officers to proceed on another country for service. First, there must be in place a legitimate government. Second, there must be reciprocity. And third, there must be a request from the reciprocating country. The government ought to assure Kenyans that the planned deployment meets the conditions set out in the Act. In addition, there have been sad reports of Kenya police officers falling victim when combating local criminal gangs in the country. There is need for the country to be, uh, to be assured that the Kenya police is adequately suited to undertake the foreign mission in terms of technical preparedness and capabilities, knowledge of the Haitian terrain, and the land cultural awareness. It is also important that the nation at large and families of officers who will be selected to undertake the mission in Haiti, in particular, be guaranteed that adequate measures have been put in place to mitigate casualties and to cushion families of the deployed officers from psychological trauma associated with deployment, including the sad eventualities of losing their live loved ones abroad. Honorable Speaker, Article 208 of the Constitution envisages national security as the protection against internal and external threats to Kenya, territorial integrity, and sovereignty. Its people, their rights, freedom, property, peace, stability, and prosperity, and other national interests. The country has been experiencing an increase in the number of insecurity cases in several parts of the country where hopeless Kenyans continue to bear the brunt of attack by criminal, uh, criminals and terrorist gangs. It is a matter of concern that the government ought to first assure security and a surplus to deploy on missions abroad. As a matter of fact, stabilizing homeland security takes precedent over committing the police officers abroad. Finally, Honorable Speaker, I call on the government to treat the deployment of Kenya police officers to the Republic of Haiti with abundance of caution and exercise a well-calculated balance between national interest and global interest so as to not jeopardize national security. I thank you, Honorable Speaker, signed today uh, member for Parliament Madare constituency. Uh, 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 thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Member for Madare. Honorable Members, Standing Orders 43, you can read it all the way to 3, has given the leeway for the Speaker to, ex to exert 